Alliance RV. It's a 390 MP multi-purpose room. Jan did, she did a video earlier on the inside, but I'm just going to do one outside here. We've got here, it's the uh, warranty for full-time RVing warranty. It's a 390 MP. It's got, it has two uh, gray tanks, one black tank. We've got about a, I think it's 55 or 53 gallons of gray tank, uh, about 106, 110 gallons a gray tank between the two. Let's start. Here's what I like is these two here are the two basement doors right here. But um, I use this one here for stuff that I do to mold for a little bit of fluid, a little bit of stuff. It's still kind of messy. Um, I haven't got it organized. Here's the other basement door. You can see how roomy I've got tape. I even have a, a tandem bicycle in here. Take off front and back tire. I got a trainer, a tote, stuff for outside. I mean, you can see how much stuff there is and how much stuff I could have. I do have a lot of stuff. Walk around to the, the front here. It's got the Lippert LCI level up automatic system it's six of them so I've got six of those bottle tank here one on the other side I'll show you that it's got the uh, where you can change from one tank to another on this side speakers this awning here it's probably the one of the biggest one. It's like 21 or 22 foot awning. And down over there it's like eight, maybe ten foot. This one's huge right there. Dryer vent. It's got the Rotoflex Kingpin. Gives it a little extra, a little extra smooth ride. But you can see here it says Alliance. We've got we have docking lights up there at the top, which I, which is kind of weird. I got, I have the button here, docking lights up there, but that really doesn't do you much good. It gives you a little. And our bedroom here, it's got a window above the bed, a big one. A lot of, uh, a lot of these RVs, they may have window but they aren't this big this has got some in here right here flipper on and off all the buttons here that's kind of nice that it is it inside where a lot of other ones are this is what I was showing you here another tank here and you can switch from one side to the next you just turn this valve it's set for here now. Make sure I leave it on. Excuse me. Another nice big door. Look at this door. Famous. This one stays up by itself. Here's this. I got some more stuff to keep this stuff in. The only thing I don't like, and I'm going to fix this, I'm going to get a piece of plasterboard, to plastic board, and put right here, build it up here, because if water leaks here, it's going to run outside here instead of in the tray or out of here. It's got the nice thing that you can open it up. Or, so I am going to fix it. I wish they would have done that. But you got electric outside shower. Shows you how to have these knobs for whatever you're going to do. If you're going to fill the tank uh, or black tank flush. And another nice thing, you can turn the water pump on outside or inside there has been there have been many times that I've had to go inside and turn it off and we'll do something but you can here's the water pump the cable satellite these lights are these lights are set on on auto they come on or I can have them on all the time and it's 
it's like everything else. It's got the water, water here, furnace. This is that uh, extra room, MP, multi purpose room. There is no slide for that. They turned the couch, instead of running lengthwise with the RV, they turned the little couch that way. They made like a little office in there, or cat room. Um, yeah, they kind of see inside that way. And a loft up there, that has got a nice big window in the loft. And they've, uh, they've raised the, a black tank dump up up higher and uh what i like what they've done is they put the electric hook up here it's like a gun i mean it's like a it's like the pistol to grip pushing the air out instead of having it in the back it's right here in the middle a window uh, above the kitchen a stove that's another good size window there these windows here on the back are so wide and they're so deep, they're so tall and a lot wider than being a lot of the other ones are. There's no bumper here, but this is welded. It's a two inch frame back here, two inch hitch. It's welded. You can pull a three thousand dollar, excuse me, a three thousand pound boat or car. There's electric hookup. It says here what you can pull. Uh, I don't plan on pulling anything. I use this for a bike rack. Our ladder looks like it's got some pretty good, you know, fasteners, but I don't like to go up those a lot of time. This slide, you can see the big windows here. And uh, it's got this a rough texture here as you do. You can't fill it, but you can see it. And uh, this here hole here, or in here, this is to lower down the uh, spare tire in there. But when, like, slide your in, it's going to be up against there. It's got it came with a handle. Everything in there looks nice and new, not rusty from ocean sand or salt water. Three ACs and wine guard. The roof looks pretty good. There's the camera hook up right there. So that's the uh, that's the outside of the Alliance Paradigm MP390. So thanks for watching.